Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am Ashley, and today we're going to be installing this gorgeous Body Wave lace wig. She came courtesy of Ali Pearl, and we're going to be doing some nice curls. We're going to set them off even better with pin curls. So if you've never pin curled before, stick around and you'll see how I do mine. So the first step is going to be to go ahead and part the hair. I feel like it's important to part the hair before you curl it so that everything goes in the exact direction that you would want it to go without ruining or interrupting your curls after the fact. Now this is a 6x6 six six closure lace wig and pretty much I just find in general that closure lace wigs do have a little bit more flyaways and frontals. So I went ahead and used my electric hot comb to go ahead and lay a little bit of those down to keep the great neat part. I feel like all wigs should be customized even if they come pre-plugged. Adding your own little touch definitely is a great way to give it your personality and also to just make it look flawless and fly. So I'm just going to use my tweezer man tweezers and give it a light, you know, tweeze. It was already pre-plugged so it definitely didn't need too much. I just wanted to go ahead and make it look even better. So today we're going to be doing um, baby hair. If you choose not to, just use a little bit of wax or even the foam that I'm using here to go ahead and push all of the hair back and kind of use maybe a little bit of heat to seal that in and make it look super, super nice. I went ahead and swooped my baby hair. Now I do super dramatic baby hair usually here on YouTube and um, what you find in my everyday life is I rarely do baby hair at all. I really really love the way it looks but it is um, you know just an extra step on a day to day basis. So I'm going to take this huge huge box of pins. These are the ones I picked up from Sally's a few years ago and these are my go to's. Um, I don't know how many are in there but probably it's like a 50 count maybe even a 100 count and I'm just going to go ham. It's been a minute since I pin curled so this was my very first one. You just go ahead and take your wand curler. If you are um, wondering if it's a wand curler or what's better between a wand curler and a curling iron, I would always recommend a wand curler, especially for beginners. The one I'm using here comes with four or five barrels in different sizes. So you have the really small and the really big and then a few in between. And that way you can pick the size curls that you want. It is much easier and less kind time consuming if you go ahead and use the biggest barrel. But today I kind of went with like a medium barrel curl. Now we've worked our way to the top. These curls came out amazing. This hair definitely held a curl very well. And I definitely found that the wand curl really, really, really gave me a nice curl that I needed. So if you are in a rush or you don't have clips, you can definitely go ahead and just make your curls and let them fall as they do. And you definitely will still have a great outcome. Also, another thing that is important with wand curling and pin curling is the placement of the barrel and how you curl. So if you want it away from your hair, away from your face I'm so sorry I can't talk to you guys go ahead and put the barrel at the top and curl downwards I kind of put the barrel under and curl upwards which gave me a curl that was more like a you know girl next door kind of look but I feel like if you do it the opposite way you'll get more of a sexy flirty you know sort of look so we've made it to the top. Luckily I went ahead and sped up so you guys didn't have to see the entire thing. Hopefully you guys get the drift of what we're doing. I'm going to do this entire last row on camera for you guys so that you guys can see how it comes out. Also, um, this did not come with um, pre-bleached knots. I did not choose to bleach the knots just because um, I am pregnant right now and I do find that the BW bleach is definitely very, very, very offensive to my senses at the moment. It has me like in tears, eyes watering, and just the smell is just way too much. So I'm going to opt for my tanning leg spray. I get mine from Sally Henson's and I'll have it linked down below. This has been a lifesaver. It definitely makes the lace look um, very close to my skin tone and it also helps to just make everything look super amazing and then I'll set it on the outside with a little bit of a powder I've been finding lately that a bronzing powder works best for me so I'll have both those items linked down below because I don't think I showed that in this video but that definitely was a great finishing touch to help to make this lace appear flawless everything else I pretty much did on camera also, I allowed the um, curls to set off camera for about maybe two to three hours while I did some other work. Um, normally, I would like to do pink curls like the night before an event and I kind of just leave it on the mannequin head and wait for the morning to install. Obviously, in this case, um, 
this was all like a same day type of situation and you guys will see in the end that the curls came out amazing um, they held amazing I did use my Aussie freeze um, or my, my Aussie hairspray at the very end just a little bit of it to just kind of help it give it an extra hold um, I also did use my care care uh, I believe it's the silken sheen spray that is my absolute favorite it's just a nice shine spray it's not too heavy or too greasy but it definitely helps to you know give you her a nice gloss shiny finish without doing way too much you can also opt for a serum I absolutely love the Garnier uh, what is it the silken sheen I believe it's called that one is a little bit more affordable I believe it's about five bucks whereas the um, care care is maybe about 15 bucks or somewhere around there I'll leave both down below for you guys to um, check out but both are great and pretty much my favorites for adding a little bit of shine and a little bit of frizz control so we finally have made it to the very top as you guys see from the very beginning that I did do like a deep side part swoop type of situation um, I feel like if you are a beginner it's always easier to do a center part do what works best for you and what is easiest for you um, but yeah center part definitely works best I also find that adding layers to any style that you're gonna curl definitely will give more body and dimension especially if your hair is like a lower density if it's on a thinner side you add a little bit of curls and um, layer I'm sorry a little bit of layers and it's gonna help to give a little bit more of a full effect in the end this hair was nicely dense I'll leave all the details um, on this wig in the description bar and if I did not mention this is a closure wig not a frontal wig which is much different We've made it to the very end and I, as you guys can see I added a little bit of a holding spray, went in and touched up any curls that may have failed and I kind of just step, stepped it to the side or set it to the side and went ahead about my business and now we are done. This is what the first curl looks like and as you guys can see they came out pretty much like Shirley Temple curls, very tight. Um, that's what I wanted in the sense of just wanting the curl to be super formed, defined so that it can last. But ultimately, I do love a more um, pulled apart, um, like drop curls. So I am going to brush it out a little bit after I add a little bit of shine. Nonetheless, it came out amazing. I did use a ton of clips. Make sure that you use your clips facing upward. In the beginning, I was facing them downward. And I don't even know why I was doing that because I already know that. But as you guys can see, the curls are popping. They're super, super, super gorgeous. Again, add a little bit of serum if you choose to, or like a nice shine spray, and you're pretty much good to go. Comb them out, um, you know, train the hair to go in the way that you want, and you definitely will have an amazing look. I also had some baby hair. I did not touch up the baby hair in the end. I kind of just left it a little bit messy, and sometimes I like that because it kind of helps to camouflage the lace a little bit, and it just looks amazing. If you are going to curl out your um, or comb out your curls, I would recommend a wide tooth comb. And yeah, that pretty much was it. The thing that makes long curls with pink curls like the perfect combination is that pretty much these curls are going to last for a few days. Now, normally, if I take my long curler, um, like such this definitely works great alone but the pink curls just give your hair a little bit of extra time to set before it goes ahead um, and you pretty much drop the curls and I definitely think it's a key step when you have somewhere to go so if I'm just getting out the house and running errands for the day I definitely feel like I'm okay to just go ahead and long curl my hair and go but if I would want to be able to um, do my hair stay early in the day for an event and make sure that my hair is going to last throughout the night. Especially if I'm like sweating and things like that, I definitely will opt for um, curling the hair, pin curling the hair. Um, especially like, you know, when you're on a trip or something like that, vacation, like I said, an event or a wedding. It's always great to like pin curl your hair when you have a little bit of downtime like the night before and that way the next day you know your curls are set they're gonna last you don't have to rush and at worst you know you have to touch up maybe a few if you know you have a few that fall or um, are not going in the direction that you want it to but for the most part practice makes perfect with this style 
I know you guys are sick and tired of watching me play in the hair and touch it because again this is a bad habit so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go before I do I just want to remind you guys that this hair did come from Ali Pearl um, I absolutely love the hair um, it came packaged in a nice little box the hair itself was in a bag and it was really protected and all of that greatness they also give you a dust bag which is super amazing because I never really keep these actual boxes I like to store them in like dust bags like such they also gave me elastic band and then they also gave me wig caps so they pretty much gave me everything I need for this install again this was a closure wig so it was a little bit different than a frontal wig nonetheless it worked out in the end thank you Ellie Pearl for sending this hair a link and all the details on this hair is listed in the description bar as well as a list of everything that I used thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with your friends and as always I'll see you in the next one.